I'm gonna show you how to make meatballs that are authentic, Italian, delicious, and best of all, easy. So what makes a perfect meatball? First and foremost, it needs to be tender and moist. It needs to have great flavor. And finally, it needs to hold together to be just the right size. I'm gonna start with some finely chopped onion. The key is it just needs to be really small. You don't want a big chunk of raw onion or not fully cooked through onion in your meatballs. And some super finely chopped garlic as well. Now I like to start with all of my ingredients in the bowl and add my meat last so that we don't end up over mixing our meatball. That is the key to get meatballs that are not tough. To that, I'm gonna add some Parmesan cheese and I'm gonna add my eggs. So I like to do an egg per pound of meat. So I've got almost two pounds of meat. So I'm gonna do two eggs, but also one extra egg yolk. Then I'm gonna add a little half and half. Now we're gonna add in a little more flavor. So I like some fresh parsley and basil. And then I do a pinch of dried oregano because that's what my mom did. So that's what I've always done. So I'm also gonna add in my breadcrumb. Now, I feel like people are gonna come at me with why didn't you use some bread soaked in milk? This to me is just easier than dealing with the bread. I'm gonna add them to the wet mixture and kinda let them absorb some of that milk. I like the flavor of breadcrumbs and I like the texture it gives, so, and I'm keeping it easy for you. Now it's time for the meat. What kind of meat do you use for a meatball? I prefer just a good old ground round, 85-15. I think this has a good amount of fat to keep these nice and moist. This, you know, keeps these meatballs easy. To be honest, most of the time I just use the ground beef because it's just easy and I'm usually throwing this together. But when I want to make it extra special, I add in about half the amount of pork in the form of my family's Italian sausage. Okay, and then finally, I do my salt and pepper. I do it when the meat is sitting here on the top because then I know that my salt and pepper have been evenly distributed and give that meat good flavor. Now it's time to mix. Here's a tip. To keep your hands from getting super sticky, you can keep a bowl of water nearby. If you keep, you know, wetting your hands with water, it's gonna keep that meat from sticking to your hands. You just wanna mix it till everything comes together. It's evenly blended. <laughs> Feels like it sounds. Okay, now it's time to roll the meatballs. I like the size of a golf ball. To me, that's the perfect size meatball. Here's a little trick. Before you form all these into meatballs, if this is your first time making them, you might wanna do a little tester. So you can take just a little meatball, form it into kind of like a patty, and fry it up in a skillet just to give it a taste test but I know these are gonna taste good. You should get about 12 meatballs per pound of meat if you're making them the right size. Now I told you these were going to be easy meatballs. If I had all day on a Sunday, I would be browning these meatballs off in a skillet and then adding that and the drippings to my Sunday sauce. But I'm keeping this easy and I think they turn out just as good if you just bake them in the oven. So I'm gonna put them on a foil lined baking sheet. All right, now these are ready for the oven. All we're trying to achieve in the oven is a good golden brown exterior. They're not gonna be fully cooked inside. As a matter of fact, you probably don't want them fully cooked inside because they're gonna finish cooking when you simmer them in the sauce. All right, here they are, and they are not quite done yet. However, a great tip if you wanna make big batches of meatballs and use them later down the road, this is where you would stop and freeze them in baggies and then pull out what you need. But to really get that moist and tender, I think they need to simmer in the sauce. Am I right? Like a good Italian, I'm gonna add them to my all day simmering Sunday sauce. We're not gonna go over how to make this yet. That's a whole nother video. And now the final instruction is to let them cook low and slow. Now I'd really love it if you would let them go at least two hours. I know you don't always have that kind of time, but if you made this batch ahead, put them in your Sunday sauce. If not, pop them in the Instant Pot and get that all day flavor. Time for the taste test. On top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. Remember that song? Well, that was easy, and I promise you, these are gonna be delicious. Best meatballs you've ever had. Cuts through like butter. Mm. They are so tender, so full of flavor. A meatball in and of itself is the perfect bite. Look at that.
Now when it comes to perfect, easy meatballs, you can cook that. Let's make the meatballs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was good.